Welcome back to Call of the Wild. So today we're out here on the Yukon Valley and we're going to be hunting for the Great Wolf. Only this time, we're going to be doing it at night. So it's been about an hour now and we just got our first encounter of a Great Wolf. And it happens to be a huge mythical. So let's pick him up. Man, that's a nice one. 901 and a heart, liver, left lung shot at 7 yards away. 38.0, not bad to start off the hunt. But... Let me tell you what, I've just been hunting for about an hour real time. I started, where did I start? I started down here at this tent, worked our way all the way around. This path right here is the one that we just took. Came all the way up to here, and we just found our first wolf. Wow. Apparently, wolves are way harder to find at night than during the day. And it looks like we just got eyes on our second wolf out here. It's a nice seven very hard. He's about 200 yards out. There's actually a pack of them. There's two females and a six here. So I'm hoping that they come back this way. We're going to put a couple calls. So just when we we're about to take a shot at that seven, I spotted this guy. It's a huge mythical wolf, and he's out here at about 230. Let's get out the 30 odd six and see if we can't make a nice hit on him. That looked pretty promising to me. Yeah, we got him. Probably probably a single lung, but I mean at 250 with a very low power zoom, I'll take it. And he's down right there. Cool. All right, I see another wolf out there. That is a female. But if she slows down, we might be able to get a nice shot on her as well. Look pretty solid. It was about 300 yards out and I was holding pretty high, but I feel like that should have had a chance. Oh yeah, she's down, definitely. So you can see there's two purple circles here. One here and one here, and we only shot twice. So that means both wolves are down. Well, it just so happens that we found two more wolves out here. They are about 260 out and wait till it turns a little more. That was an awesome shot. I think we actually got double lung on that. And he's down. So we should have a six, a mythical, and a female wolf down over there. This six hard, I don't know. He wants to attack us or something, but it looks like he's actually coming in. So we'll get ready on him as well. And that was a perfect heart shot. All right, now, I believe, <laughs> let's just say we have a lot of wolves down. So we got to mark some of these here. Uh, We'll just mark pretty much right in the middle. And with the help of the night vision, it should be able to lead us right to all of them. As you can see, we have one down right here. All right, we'll grab this one. This was the six hard, and this was actually a skull neck shot, 815. So we got a wolf down here, and this actually might be the mythical. No, nope, that's another six hard. And that was a double lung shoulder blade shot at 270, 830 score on him. So the mythical must be over there. I would bet that that's probably him. Although that looks kind of small for a mythical. So that is indeed the mythical and we got a stomach liver hit on him at 233 yards out. Hit just a tad bit back, but still 89% and 866 gold out of that. So I will take that. And I just came up over the ridge here and I see a wolf down right here. I think this is one of our females. I believe we have two females down. Yeah, it is indeed a female. Double lung shot at 338 yards, but barely. I mean, we barely touched the lung on that, but that's a pretty good shot though, considering we have a very low zoom on this scope. All right guys, so we just got surrounded by a whole pack of wolves. They're right here. Got a three there, a two minor. I saw a five medium in the front. Oh, look at this. They all decided to drink right here, 20 yards away from us. We have a perfect wind. I can't really see them very good though because they're right behind this tree and for some reason they're not reacting to the call. I did see like a decent six right here. And oh, there we go, seven very hard, 28 yards away. Perfect, here we go. We're zeroed in for, what are we zeroed in for, 26? That should have been a good hit. And indeed it was because he's down right there. Oh, so that works really good. If you don't want to spot an animal and you know what distance it's at, you can just stay zeroed in for that distance and, you know, take the shot. This is pretty much exactly what we just did. All right, here he is down. Should be a pretty nice one as well. Let's find out. 
Double lung shot, 838 score. A nice, how do we do? Oh, yeah, that was a perfect shot. I thought we might have been a little bit too high, but that was almost a double lung heart shot as he was drinking there. Beautiful shot, 28 yards away and a nice gold wolf. So we just got eyes on another wolf out here, but she's out there at about 300 yards out. That was a perfect shot. And she's down. So it looks like we actually have a six out here as well. Wow. Somehow I think we got double lung on that, but I really don't know how. <laughs> I thought if anything we could hit the spinal cord or I don't know, maybe the neck, but. So we have another wolf out here, it's a female, but take a look at this. Our wolf is actually floating out across the water here. I don't know how we're gonna get to it. Uh, we'll figure it out soon though, but let's get ready and take a shot on this female here at uh, about 180 out this time. Tucked it right in there, perfect. And she smoked. She's down right there. But yeah, look at this. I've never seen a wolf floating across the water like this before. So this is definitely a first. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this wolf should float back over to where we initially took the shot from, which would be like, I don't know, like 50 yards behind us. So I guess we'll go back over there in a little bit, but <laughs> I feel like we're waiting for a duck to float in. There's something about this that's just different. <laughs> we're waiting for our wolf to float in. He's approaching any minute now. And here he comes. Just like that. And that was actually the six. We ended up getting a skull jaw hit the first shot. So what's interesting about this wolf is I only remember taking one single shot at the six. Remember we saw it out there and, oh, you know what? I took a shot at a female before and I must have missed a female and somehow hit this wolf in the jaw. Yeah, cause it looks like, it looks like that wasn't really a centered hit. And he was out there drinking the second time and we hit vertebrae and left lung. And here's the other two wolves. Let's go by and pick them up. That was a female and double lung shot at 288. Not bad. And stomach, liver, right lung shot at this female at 193. This is the one that was quartering away. Yeah, we did tuck it in there pretty nicely. And that's a pretty decent penetration with 30 odd six. All right guys, look at what we just found. A dime potential gray wolf. He's less than 200 yards away and we have a perfect win. We're gonna try and get to uh, like maybe 50 yards and go for a perfect double lung shot. Okay, so we're within 60 yards away. Now he's the one in the back. There's one in the front here. This is a female. That's the only problem is that she is blocking pretty much all of his vitals. So we either have to wait till she moves or risk going for kind of a high lung shot on him. So if we go like right over the top of her back, we might be able to still get lung on him like right there, but that's, I mean, ideally I'd want to be literally right where her back is, but now we're still about 60, 65 out. So we're gonna get a little bit closer. Okay guys, we got him right there, 52 yards away. Let's get ready for this. Perfect shot, oh, a little bit far forward. Still definitely got double lung and he is down. Right there. But right here is what should be our diamond wolf. And he's a diamond, 950, perfect shot. Double lunged him at 52 yards out. Man, that was awesome. He ended up weighing 164.7. Whew, so he was barely big enough to be a diamond, but he is definitely a diamond. At night, with a bow. That was awesome.
So I thought we were a little bit far forward, but really, that was a perfect shot. Man, that was awesome. We just got our first diamond gray wolf with the new tracer arrows. All right, so let me show you exactly where we just got him. We're over here uh, just to the north of Scorched Hill, kind of this odd shaped lake here. And the need zone is actually right here from 0.30 until 3.30 in the morning. So pretty much like right at midnight until 3.30 in the morning. And yeah, that's where he's at. We actually had a tripod here, but I couldn't get to it. So we just took him from, I think like right here, 50 yards out and we got him. So let's head back to the trophy lodge now and go take a look. Welcome back to our trophy lodge. And isn't that a pleasant sight to walk into a diamond grizzly on the left and a diamond caribou on the right. But over here is our 950 scoring diamond gray wolf that we got at 50 yards out with the bow and the new tracer arrows. That was pretty awesome. Take a little better look at him here. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.